This is the Iron Trader and TGIF. Now, this would seem like a very, very short week, even though you had five days. We got one left. Now, remember, next week is going to be a shortened week. Uh, Monday is a stock market holiday, so there will be no trading on Monday. So I'll have a video for you Monday night. Um, so as usual, we are going to review crude oil here and natural gas. This video is for information purposes only. Not a recommendation to buy, sell any stock, market ETF. Please like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. All right, here we have uh, crude oil, your daily, your weekly chart. Now, here we have the key level. Now, look what's going on here today. Now, we have a lot of good sideways action. Um, your eight days curling up here nicely. Your 21 day is curling up nicely. And now it looks like your price is above the key 50 SMA here that I've been pointing out at 74.44 and Right now, it's above this key 73.31. So as this 200-day here comes on up, this eight-day was coming down here. Something's going to give, and it looks like this might be curling up here. But we have to see, okay? So this is, again, this is for the week here. So we have to see here how she's going to close on uh, today. Now, again, the reason that oil is going up here is big brouhaha. Um, they sent some missiles there into Yemen yesterday. Uh, because there's a that Red Sea is, uh, is is really not good right now. There's just a lot a lot of action here trying to get trade. You have to reroute everything. But the key to crude oil, 40% of all that oil shipping is going through the Straits of Hormuz. That is very very critical. If that gets shut down in any way, oil will spike and spike hard and spike high. So very very always keep that in mind here. What's going on? Now let's just see where we are going to be. So let's look at the downside. What we have to look at here is 74.45. That is your 50-day SMA. Uh, and then what we look at here is we look at this 73.31. This is your 8 SMA. These are your two very, very critical levels. If that uh, goes below that, then we look to the top of yesterday's candle, which is 73.81. And then we come down here to the 72.69, which is basically your 8-day and your 21 SMA. Very, very crucial levels. Now, if that is lost, then we can come down to this candle here. You're looking at 71.17, and then we have this 200A uh, uh, on your weekly chart here at 71.08. That's also very, very critical. And then we can follow these candles down here to uh, 70.47. We have 70.13, and then we have this 70. Uh, uh, 06 here. Now, I pointed out here that we had the nice double bottom because we had the 7006 uh, and then we have this 7013. Excuse me. <clears throat> so that was very, very good double bottom here. Now, <clears throat> this could have been a potential bear flag like we had here, but see, now this is all negated because now you went above that candle. Um, see, like where this candle uh, came right down, you had the, the rice run up here, and then we had that big one down. So that was a bear, a bear flag here. But this here, that's all negated now. So this was just some sideways action. So the key is to watch this is this 50 SMA here, and then watch this key uh, uh, 31 uh, 7331 here. Your 8 SMA. If that's lost, then we're going to come down here to your 7269, which is your 8 and your 21 day. Now, the upside, well, you always want to look at today's high so far. You have uh, 75.25. Then we can come up to this level here. You got 75.66. And then we have your uh, uh, price channel at 76.18, which is basically this candle right here. Now, again, if that can get higher than that, then we come up to this candle here. You're looking at 76.76. And then we have your 77.85 uh, here. But just right above that is that 77.50. Very, very uh, crucial uh, resistant level. Uh, again, it's all going to be doing is, you know, uh, what is a catalyst here? If that straight of Hermut uh, gets hammered in any way or any kind of disruption here, that's going to be very, very, I mean, crude will just spike right up higher. So have no, uh, you know, uh, opinions, just trade what you can see that's in front of you. Now, your RSI here, well, you still got plenty of room to run here. You're sitting at 54. Your uh, MACD is still uh, very, very bullish. The MACD here on your weekly chart is trying to curl over. It's still below the uh, red. The green is below the red. So that is still uh, a bearish. 
But we have to see how this is going to close here for the week. So basically, at the end of the day here, if you can close above that key 73, uh, 31 here, then we can either get some sideways action or we're going to go up higher. Um, and then this 50 SMA here, very, very uh, a crucial level. But the 50 day, you can see it's just it's not turning at all. It's just coming right on down. So eventually what's going to happen as this comes down, these here will come right on up here and they'll take the price on higher. So if you can get higher, you watch that 7618. That's going to be key. Then we watch this key uh, level here, that 7750. And then we have your 200 day at 7785. All right, let's take a look here and see what Natty Gas is doing. All right, here we have Natty Gas, your daily chart. Now, we can see how we had this nice big, uh, basically it was a nice big short squeeze. Basically, on what happened was the uh, uh, Biden administration is relooking at all the LNG ports, and we got a nice big squeeze up. But where do we go here? Uh, just like I've been pointing out here, is to this gap. Okay, so that's usually the first place where you go. And then if you can get higher, then we go to this gap fill, which is sitting at 3.45. And then we can just follow these candles, 3.52, 3.57, and then your big retest up here at 3.64. So that we knew where it was going to go here, even there on the old short squeeze. Now, uh, we've had some inside days here. But if you look at this 8 SMA here, see how nice this 8 SMA is working? You're holding it, you're holding it, you're holding it. Even yesterday, it looked like it was come down, but see, you're holding that key 8 SMA. So as long as that 8 SMA is holding, you're in really good shape. Even if it sells down today, but it holds that 8 SMA, you're good. Now, again, if that is lost, we come down to this 100 SMA here. So you're looking at uh, 2.859, and then right below it, we have this 50 SMA sitting at 8.26. Uh, now, if you look at this 21 day, she now she crossed above that 200 day, that's very good. So that is going to become support at 2.68. And then right below it here, we have this 200 day sitting at 2.65 here. So this is looking very, very bullish right now. Uh, on the upside here, while well, you want to look at today's high here, you have 3.195. Uh, uh, and then what we need to do is we want to look at this level here. You're looking at 3.23. Now, if you can get above that, what we do is we just follow these candles uh, right on up here. So you're looking at 3.26 here. We have uh, 3.27 uh, on your on your candle here. And then we have your, uh, uh, what do we have here? You got uh, 3.29 uh, level here. And then we come up here to your retest, which is basically 3.39. Again, if you can get above that, then, then that's your gap right here. And then we look to that fill. So always look for on your charts here for your gap and your fill. These are like a magnet to a fridge. They will get there eventually. Um, now, on the downside, you want to watch today's low here so far. You're looking at uh, uh, 3.10. Uh, uh, and then we want to watch this crucial 8 SMA here at uh, 2.98. That is going to be very, very key support level here. If this price comes down, it needs to hold that. And then obviously you have your 100 day below that here. You have your 50 day here. And then what we do is we can come to this candle like right here. You have uh, a 2.537 and then we have your uh, 2.68, uh, uh, which is your 21 day and your, your 200 day. But right now this looks very, very uh, uh, bullish here. Um, your MACD, uh, that's still your green is above your red. That is bullish. Very, very nice. There is no uh, divergence here yet on this, so we have to see how this is going to shake out. But you still have room to run now. You, you peaked out right here, but it came down. Okay, the price came on down here, but there's there's no uh, you know positive you know <clears throat> or uh, negative <clears throat> excuse me divergence going on here. Uh, so right now this is looking this is looking very good. So we got to see how this price is going to shake out. But so far today we have just an inside day. Let's take a look here on an hourly chart and a four hour. All right, hourly four hour chart. Now we can see here what we need to do. Okay, your price channel is sitting at 3.23. We have some nice good sideways action. You came on down here and then we rallied here. You're kind of holding like a double bob. Even though it put in the lower low, this was a really nice good scalp. So what you're looking at here is you really need to get above this 3.23. Uh, two three here so far we haven't been able to get it you're coming right into this resistant level here 
at uh, a 3.19. So if you can get above that and close above that, then what we do is then we look for that target there at the 3.39 uh, because that is where she'll run because there isn't really a whole lot of resistance level in there because we have these kind of candles here. So we just want to watch it. On the downside here, you want to watch this key uh, 21 SMA here at that 3.15 and then we have 3. Uh, basically 07 and then you have your 100 day here right below it at 3.04 but we have some sideways action we got to see if it's going to break up if it's just going to keep on going sideways of what we're going to do here now here on your four hour chart you can see a little bit bigger picture on what's going to happen here but you had a really nice run with a series of higher lows this that's always right good right here you had a real nice double bottom it rallied right on up here and then all the way out here to the top came down here and this is that section which is basically right there um, it came down and then you put a nice spike here now when you have a big green candle like this and then we have that side that's basically a bull flag uh, going here on the four-hour chart so always want to watch it now whether it plays out the way that'll play out is you got to get uh, above this key level at that 3.23 which is basically right there off of that flag so as you see this you know if you can get above that then we have a nice target up here at 3.39 on the downside you want to watch this 8 sma here 3.12 and then we want to watch this 21 day sitting at 3.09 so this is really a nice good series of higher lows here which is looking good and now we have a good bull flag going here so we have to see how this is going to shake out here so today this is going to be a really good scalping day you can see that uh here already here on the uh, old Natty Cass. Now, Mrs. Member, the next week is going to be a shortened week. Monday's a holiday, uh, stock market holiday. Uh, so I'll have a video for you. Uh, actually, instead of Sunday night, it'll be Monday night to get you set up for uh, Tuesday. But I'll have more for you on crude and natural gas here after the pick close here at 2.30. Thanks for watching.